I am not joking when I say that nearly every chord progression uses the same two, three, or four chords. The most common harmonies are our favorite chord progression for pop punk. Over the last few years, we have seen a meteoric rise in rock inspired guitar and hip hop. These days, kids aren't looking up to the old guitar gods like Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, or BB King. No, they're looking to the new wave of guitar gods like MGK. Jokes aside, I don't see rock guitar going away anytime soon, so now is the perfect time to add this genre to your arsenal or fine tune your skills. We're gonna show you a bulletproof formula of how you can come up with your own pop punk loops with little effort. We will show you chord progressions, rhythm, and melody ideas from legendary pop punk songs so that what we are teaching actually makes sense to you. Before we talk about the loop formula, we need to cover the chords that are used in pop punk. Here's the thing, to master pop punk, you only need to know four chords. I am not joking when I say that nearly every Every chord progression in pop punk uses the same two, three, or four chords over and over again. These chords are the one, the four, the five, and the six. Our favorite chord progression for pop punk is one, five, six, four, and that's what we'll be using for this video. In the key of D major, that is D major, A major, B minor, G major. Now that we've covered chords, we can move on to the loop formula. A power chord is a two note chord comprised of a root and a fifth, and it's usually one of the first things new guitarists learn how to play. For MIDI users, a fifth is seven notes above the root note. What makes a power chord so, powerful is that you really only need to learn one shape and then you can move that shape up and down the fretboard. Fret a note with your pointer finger and the next note is two frets higher and one string higher. Some people will play the second note with their ring finger but I prefer using my pinky. technique that is critical to develop when playing power chords is palm muting. Palm muting is where you rest your palm slightly over the strings so that you achieve a muted sound while still maintaining the pitch of the chord. Too much muting and your chord will be dead. Too little muting and your chord will ring. If you are making melodies using MIDI, it is crucial you find a VST that has a palm muting option. Our progression is D major, A major, B minor, and G major. So I will play D, A, B, and G power chords. We're going to track our power chord layer twice and hard left and right pan the two tracks. We are gonna play a simple picking pattern over a chord shape, and then we're gonna change the bass notes to match the chords in the progression. Blink-182's What's My Age Again does exactly this. usually add some variation in the third or fourth chord. This is just enough variation to keep the loop interesting. Simplicity is king when it comes to writing melodies for pop punk loops. We try to limit ourselves to only using three to five notes from the scale in our melody. Many famous songs only use the first, second, and third notes of the major scale. Always, I'm gonna put the rhythm part on loop and improvise until I find a melody I like. We 
don't think many guitarists or producers understand the importance of harmonies. Harmonies are what add volume and character to your melodies and they are critical in pop punk. The most common harmonies are thirds, fifths, and octaves. For this video, we are only going to focus on the octave because it is the most common harmony we hear in pop punk. All we have to do is play the exact same melody that we already played, one octave above or below. That's it. To recap, step 1.1 is to record a power chord layer of your chord progression. Step 1.2 is to double track the power chord layer and stereo pan them. Step 2 is to play an arpeggiated riff that changes the bass note to match the chord being played in the progression. Step 3 is to play the simplest melody possible using the major scale. Step 4 is to record an octave harmony, one octave above or below your melody. If you follow these steps, you will write bulletproof pop punk loops every time. Morning. Now that you know how to write placement quality pop punk loops, you should go watch this video where I break down the most common harmonies that the pros use to make hit songs.